This is my check-in redeem. It shows up anytime someone redeems the check-in channel point reward and keeps track of how many times each user has checked in for once per stream, kind of like a class attendance or roll call. A check-in redeem can be a good way to encourage your viewers to show up more regularly to your streams. I'm going to show you how to make your own check-in redeem using OBS and StreamRobot. For this project, I've attached nine animation files that you can use for your own check-in redeem if you're not wanting to use your own custom animations. I've attached those files down below in the description, and they're free, so if you enjoy content like this, be sure to hit like and subscribe to let me know that you'd like more tutorials like this in the future. Once you have your animation ready, or have downloaded one of my presets, we're going to get started in OBS. First, create a new scene in OBS. I'm calling this scene Check-in Redeem. Add a media source and select one of the presets I gave you or your own custom animation. Make sure your settings are set to restart when source becomes active. Next, you're going to want to fit it to the scene. Next, create a text layer and call it username. Pick the font you want to use. I'm using Nunito Extra Bold. I'm going to type username here for the example text. This will be updated later with the username of whoever redeems the check-in reward. Right-click the text and click Edit Transform. Make sure the alignment is set to center, the bounding box type to scale to inner bounds, and the bounding box size to 700 pixels by 100 pixels. Then align it to the bottom box of the graphic. Next, create a text layer and call it counter. This is going to count how many times a user has checked into your stream. I'm going to use the same font as the username box. And I'm going to enter 100 as a test number. Next, edit the transform again and align it to center, scale to inner bounds, and make the bounding box size 300 by 120. Then align it within the top box. Lastly, we're going to set up a filter on the whole scene. Add a color correction filter and set the opacity to zero. Then turn it off. Later on, you'll want to add this check-in scene to any scene that you want the check-in redeem to show up in. Or if you have a global scene, you can put it in there as well. Next, we're going to make a channel point redeem to trigger this check-in animation and sync up the proper text. For this, we'll be using StreamerBot. If you've never set up StreamerBot, you'll have to make sure it's properly connected to OBS. I'll link a tutorial down in the description for that. Once you have StreamerBot open, create a new action and call it Check-in Redeem. Set the trigger to Twitch, Channel Reward, Reward Redemption. Then create a new reward and call it Check-in. I like setting the cost to 1 so that anyone can do it at any time. And make sure to set the max per user per stream to 1 so that people can only check in once per stream. Now we're going to create a new per user variable called Attendance, which will keep track of every time someone uses this redeem we just created. Create a sub action under core, globals, set global. Then select user, redeemer, and make sure it's persisted so that it retains this information when you close StreamerBot. Set the variable name to attendance and set an increment of one. This means that anytime someone uses the check-in redeem, the counter of how many times they've checked in increases by one. Next, create a sub action under core, globals, get global. Then select user, redeemer, and set the destination variable to attendance counter. Next, create a sub action under OBS source set GDI text. Select the scene called check in redeem that we created earlier, then select the username text source. Set this to percent user percent. This lets StreamerBot know that the variable you're giving it is the user of whoever redeems the check in reward. Next, duplicate this action and change the source from username to counter. Then enter the variable we made earlier surrounded by percents. So percent, attendance, counter, percent. Next, we want to make sure that when this redeem happens, the animation plays again. So hit OBS, source, set media state. Grab the animation in the check-in redeem scene and set it to restart. That way it replays the animation for each user that redeems it. Then, so that animation has time to reset before we see it, create a 150 millisecond delay. Then hit OBS, scene, set scene, filter state and make the color correction filter on the scene check and redeem hidden. Create a 3000 millisecond delay. Then duplicate the scene filter state action we just made and change it from hidden to visible. This will make your check and redeem hide because when the filter appears, it sets the opacity down to zero. Lastly, make a 1000 millisecond delay so there's a gap between the redeems. If this doesn't exist, they will line up back to back and the animation won't replay. Next, we're going to create an action queue. This ensures that the redeems won't overlap with each other and that each redeem of the check-in has its own space to play out the animation and the sound. I'm going to call this one check-in queue. 
edit the action and put in that action cue with blocking on. The blocking on makes sure that they don't overlap. All right, everything should be working now. You can make sure by hitting the test on the trigger. However, this is gonna add one to the counter of whatever user is brought up for the test, so we'll need an all clear button, and I'll show you how to make that next. To make an action that resets all of the check-in counters, create a new action and call it something like all clear check-in. Right click in the trigger section and create a test trigger. Then you're gonna wanna create a C-sharp code sub action. And then type this. I would pause here. I'm not gonna read out all those characters. And then hit save and compile. To reset the counter across all users, run this test trigger. However, this will reset everyone's check-in amount. So only use this when you want everyone's check-in value to be zero. I hope this was helpful. And if you end up using this for your stream, be sure to leave a comment down below so I can come in and say hi. Good luck and happy trails. See ya.